I'm Jelan. I'm Renisha. And I'm Aaliyah. And, and we, we are the Real Scouts. Scouts. Real, Real people, people just like you. As always, make sure you wash your hands before you cook. Let's get talking about the ingredients. First ingredient, of course, is chicken. It's coleslaw. Coleslaw. Then next we have some egg roll wraps. Then we got some oyster sauce. Then we got some soy sauce. Then we got chicken broth. And then we got some olive oil. For the tools, we need a cutting board. Bowls, I'm using two bowls. A deep fryer. A pink. Let's get started. Okay. So first we're going to prep our meat. Okay, chicken is prepped and chopped. I just cubed it. Just a little bit of... Thanks for finding me. Okay, we need huh? a little bit more. Did you? Since it's a oh. big pot. Okay, you see chicken right broth, there. just a tad bit. Oh. Oh. I do a nice coat. It's hot. Ew, it's good. I like it. Can I try it? No, it's not cooked. And we just have to cook it down, and I'll show you when it's cooked down. You want it to look a little transparent, but not too transparent, so it's not overly cooked. What's so just said? about right here. Okay, chicken goes in. Oh, it's gross. I don't want to see what's on the TV. Okay, go see what's on the TV. Yes. Wash it off. Make sure you put bleach in it. Okay, then we take it and we drain it. Next step is putting the sauce in the chicken or whatever meat you prefer or non meat. <clears throat> this is one tablespoon. So, for every one tablespoon, for every one tablespoon of oyster sauce, you need two <laughs> tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, so this is one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Um, we're gonna probably put in three because I know uh, it's super thick. It gives it the good flavor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now let's give it a stir. This is the stir, stir, stir. I like stir it. it up. Look at that. Oh. Mm. The amount of coleslaw and chicken depends on you and your family, and the the amount of season depends on you and your family. Cup of water, water of your choice. Of your choice. Place the egg roll shell like a triangle almost. Triangle. And dad's gonna help you. Triangle. Okay. Just triangle. Then we're gonna take it's pretty You smell it? It's the smell of the shell. Take a spoonful. We like ours pretty thick. Yeah, that one's gonna have a lot of meat. Let me see if you can see that one. Take a spoonful. You're gonna pull me your some, stuff. Give me some. Give me some. Pull. Give me one second. You're gonna pull your stuff as close as you can to the corner that's closest to you. Take it, roll it as tight as you can without breaking the shell. Be very careful. Dip you in some water on this side, water on this side, fold it in, and in, and then take some water to the tip, roll it all the way to the tip. Do we need like a little thing? Uh oh, this is pretty juicy there, buddy. And there's the egg roll. Just a little bit of water, test your oil. Test your oil. You remember that time? <laughs> <laughs> I said it. You want more water? You was like, I want more. And I like to put four of them in at a time. Oh, that one's open a little bit. Somebody didn't wrap it very good. Mm -hmm. no, deep fry them until they're coming up and they're golden brown. It doesn't take them very long to deep fry. That's it for homemade chicken egg rolls. Peace. Peace. Let me eat.